It's a beautiful day, hey, hey. It's a beautiful day, hey, hey. It's a beautiful day, hey, hey. Hi everyone, good afternoon, good evening, and greetings to you. Uh oh, it doesn't matter what time you are, because my time here is evening. It's evening here. So guys, let's talk on this topic. Are you into any relationship? Can you tell whether your relationship is healthy or unhealthy? What signs can you see? So in today's topic, we shall be talking about signs of a healthy relationship. Many people are in relationships and some do not know whether their relationship is healthy or unhealthy. So whether you know it or not, let us just participate in this discussion and see how it goes. If you have anything to share, please hit on the request button and I can add you to, to participate in this live show. This is Amazing Grace MST signs to know that your relationship is healthy whether you are married or single you have a fiance and you are into a relationship there are some signs that can help you know that your relationship is healthy or unhealthy okay one if you are in a healthy relationship you are going to have a constant communication with your partner. Whether you are far or near, you are going to have a regular communication with your partner. Yeah, communication comes here in so many forms. And you know, we have the verbal communication, we have the non-verbal communication. Yeah, the verbal communication is very, very powerful. In some, in some relationships, some couple like to use words to talk. Sometimes they express themselves by talking, using love language. Yeah, they use love language. They can tell you directly or indirectly because sometimes you can go straight to say, oh, this is exactly what I want. Or sometimes they can turn around to let you just understand that that is what they want. So the couple will talk often to one another sharing their feelings, discussing on issues, whether they understand or they don't understand issues, they feel free to talk to one another. They can also talk using symbols. For example, sending love uh, images, emoticons, things that are going to make the other man to understand that someone is talking to me and this is what he or she wants. So that is communication. Sometimes they can just use signs or body language to communicate to one another. But the most important thing is that communication is taking place. And in a healthy relationship, when there is communication, there is a lot of fun, there is laughter, there is sharing and understanding, running left and right, playing with one another, and so on and so forth. Yeah, this is a sign of a healthy relationship. Yeah, in a healthy relationship, there is also this sign. If you are in a relationship, you are going to realize that your partner is reliable. Reliable. That means he makes you to trust. He or she makes you to trust in him or her by always telling you the truth, by always doing the things that will make you to realize that he or she is real, by always being there in situations that need comfort. So he will 
he or she is going to make himself available so you can rely on him or her. Because if you don't trust someone, you cannot count on him or her. You cannot rely on him or her. You cannot communicate freely with them. True or false? So in a healthy relationship, there is that trust, that mutual trust, understanding, communication. Yeah, you communicate one another in order to understand each other. Because when there is no communication, no one can understand what is inside your heart, right? No one will break through your heart to know what is there. So communication can help people to understand one another. And also that mutual trust. You entrust, you entrust your secrets into someone's hands because you find that that person is reliable. Something that you could not tell anyone else, you can tell a partner that you trust. Something that you could not tell people outside, but you can tell a partner that you trust because you rely on them, you believe in them. True or false? Okay. Um, in, in addition to this, we have, uh, we have regular communication, we have uh, uh, trustworthiness, and uh, we have confidence, right? There is that confidence. You always have confidence in what you are doing. You have confidence in your partner. You believe in them. You just know that what he or she tells you is the truth. You don't doubt. There are no doubts. So in a healthy relationship, people don't, couples don't doubt each other. They believe and trust in one another. Okay, to continue with this discussion, we can also say that in a healthy relationship, even as far as finances are concerned, there is that trust. There is that trust. You trust in one another and you feel like, oh, um, if he or she is in a difficult situation, then it should be true. He or she cannot lie to me. I should believe in him or her just the way he or she believes in me. That is a healthy relationship. Trusting in one another with your problems, with your finances, with your conversation and the things that you do. You trust in one another. Yeah, that is a healthy relationship. Are you into any relationship? If you are into a relationship, just look at a few things that I have already mentioned. Are you experiencing some of these things? Do you rely on your partner? Do you communicate freely with your partner? Do you understand your partner when you talk? Do you have some doubts in what he or she says? Do you believe in the things that he or she tells you? Okay, good. If you can already answer these questions, then we are together. So let's move forward. In a relationship that is healthy, it will always tell you the truth. No lies. No lies. And there is that fun, always fun. Fun, fun, fun. You talk, you laugh, you cry together. When it is a time to cry, you cry together. It's a time to laugh, you laugh together. You share your feelings with each other. So that is a healthy relationship. Another sign of healthy relationship is when there is no suspicion. In a relationship when there is constant suspicion, constant suspicion, that means you are bound to quarrel or to fight. And when you quarrel and you fight with one another, it means that your relationship is unhealthy. It means that something is wrong with your relationship, something that you need to sort out. A problem, there is a problem, there's an issue that you need to fix. Until you fix this, you are going to lack that confidence, that trust, that mutual understanding, 
in mutual conversation with one another. So you are going to have some secret. You are not going to talk freely one, with one another because there is that conflict. Yes. Now, it comes up with another, an, another point, which is conflict. Yeah, a healthy relationship has few conflicts. I am not saying here that it doesn't have any conflict because in every relationship, there are bound to be some conflict, right? But some relationship has conflict, positive conflict, right? Where people come with conflicting ideas in order to solve a problem. They come with conflicting ideas to come up with an agreement. But in, in an unhealthy, an unhealthy, uh, in a healthy relationship, this conflict come up, but both parties must look for solutions. They look for solutions to solve their problem, to, to resolve their issues. So you see another point is coming up, which is conflict resolution. In every relationship which is healthy, both partners are always going to look for ways to solve their problems when there is an, a problem that is emerging they will both look for ways to solve their problems because any relationship that has no problem will not even have fun. Yeah, sometimes there must be some conflict in a relationship. So while solving your problems, you understand each other better and you can live better in the future. So in such relationships, you see, conflict resolution is one powerful Two, you look for solutions to solve your problems when there are issues. But when it becomes so hard to solve problems, that means that relationship is unhealthy. It is unhealthy. And so there are bound to be conflicts all the times. When there is that understanding between you two problems are few because you are going to believe in your partner you are going to see the truth in what your partner says you are going to support your your partner so support is another very important item in a healthy relationship in every healthy relationship partners will support one another you support one another financially emotionally and otherwise, because your words, your words alone are going to tell your partner whether you are supporting them or you are not supporting them. Your words are going to tell your partner whether you are comforting them or you are not comforting them. Your, when a relationship is healthy, your partner will stand by you when you are down when you are down, your partner will always be that shoulder on which you can lean. Your partner will be the best thing in your life at that time because you'll find it, you find him like a rock, a solid rock on which you can stand. You find her as that solid rock on which you can stand. But in the absence of this, my dear, then there is something that you need to resolve in your relationship. So far, just looking at this point, I guess you can be able to pick out and to identify your own relationship, whether your relationship is healthy or not healthy. Now you can ask yourself, am I in a healthy relationship? And if you are not in a healthy relationship, what are you doing? Are you trying to look for ways to solve this? I know there are still more points that we can talk on this. If you are in a relationship and you find that your relationship is unhealthy, what are you going to do? Are you just going to abandon it? Are you going to give it a try to find out or to look for some solutions on how to rebuild your relationship? Are you going to abandon it? 
what are you going to do? If you just abandon it and you don't give in a try, that means you yourself, you don't love where you are. If you love where you are, you are going to take steps ahead that will lead to problem solving. You are going to try to see that you can solve your problems. You are going to approach your partner with a healthy conversation. Remember, there is a healthy conversation and an unhealthy conversation. A conversation where you talk mutually, mutually to understand each other. You talk, you laugh, you play. You talk because you want to solve a problem. Yeah, it's a healthy communication conversation. But that kind of communication where you talk and you are just fighting with words left and right without coming on up with something useful, that is something that is unhealthy. So, can you tell me, when you identified that your relationship was unhealthy, what steps did you take to improve it? Because the only, the problem here is not just to know that your relationship is unhealthy, but it is to create that awareness in you, to let you know that if your relationship is going this way, that means it is unhealthy. And if it is unhealthy, what have you done to improve it? What have you done to change the status of your relationship? Or have you just joined your partner? Or have you just picked up a quarrel, a fight with your partner? Did you take some steps, some moves, to see how you can solve it? You can solve the problems. If you didn't, then this is the time to do so. If you have not yet done so, start doing that right now. If you love your partner. And let me tell you that there are some relationships which are unhealthy, but you can do nothing about it. Because you have taken measures to solve issues, but nothing is working. You have tried and tried and tried and nothing is working. And so when nothing is working, it means that it is not an easy relationship. Then in such situations, you may need to meet a relationship expert, or you may meet, need to meet some partners who have lived long in a relationship to talk with them, to get some advice from them. But one thing I would like to say here is that it is not good to share your problems just with anyone else. There are specific people that you can share your problems with, not just with everyone. Because some will give you advice which are rather going to destroy everything that you have taken time to build. Some are going to give you advice which is going to help you strengthen, build, make your relationship to be stronger than it was before. So before you consult somebody for advice, make sure you know who you are consulting. And one more thing, you could consult someone for advice, but you are not forced to take all the advice that is given to you because you can now use your knowledge to identify which of these ideas were good and suitable pertaining to your own situation because situations might differ. Don't see because A, A situation is like this and you think that your own will also be like that and you just solve it that way. Don't think that B's problem was like this and he or she solved it this way and that you are obviously going to solve your own problem that way. No, it doesn't work in that way. You can look for other ways to solve your problems and you can meet relationship experts to advise you on what to do, which is going to be useful in your marriage. Yeah, if you were able to grab something from here, then please leave a comment and let me see 
what, let me know what you think. You can also add more points to what I just discussed in the comment section below. Yes. Next, I will be discussing with you how you can identify that your relationship is unhealthy. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for commenting. And thank you so much for sharing. Wherever you are, please click on the share button to share this video. Thank you so much for watching. And this is Amazing Grace. Thank you for joining this live show with Amazing Grace. Love. Love. Bye.